Fans here at home are, of course, heartbroken. Stephanie Haynes joins us live from downtown Milwaukee. Stephanie, lots of frustration for those watching tonight. Tom, it was bleak. You know it's bad when people are leaving the bar before halftime. Many of them just ready to call it the end of the season. Fans were anxious but hopeful at the start of the game. At Skybox near North Avenue, people believed the Packers had a chance. When you're from Wisconsin, you're from Milwaukee like us, so close to home, you know that you can never underestimate Green Bay, so we're confident. We have faith. Then the 49ers surged ahead. At Uncle Buck's, this is the reaction from the crowd when Aaron Rodgers threw an interception shortly before halftime. Are you kidding me? Some fans put on their coats and got up to leave. Well, we're not really surprised that we're down 20 to nothing at almost halftime because that's kind of how they played most of the season. As the game wore on, lots of long faces stared at the TVs. Many fans frustrated and let down. The Niners, they really came out with speed and energy, and we really couldn't match that. Are you frustrated? Very frustrated. I'm in angst right now. Look at me. I'm sitting here. I can't even have fun. The pack came back a little bit, but ultimately fell to the 49ers 37 to 20. Those fans who stayed the whole game say they will forever be fiercely loyal to the green and gold. Yes, my heart hurts, but at the same time, it's been a great season. Hey, but here's some good news. The Bucks, they are number one in the Eastern Conference right now. They play the Chicago Bulls here at home tomorrow at 4 p.m. And you know what? The Brewers are going to be back on the field in just a few months. Live downtown, Stephanie Haynes, today's TMJ4. Tom.